Okay, so before I get into the meatloaf and potatoes of what I'm going to be ranting about today, but, um, um, I want to make something abundantly clear because uh, I'm going to say something that might be seen as very controversial, especially living here in Canada land. Um, I ride my polar bear to school every day. I have a pet moose named Wayne Gretzky, and I like Tim Hortons and hockey just as much as the next person here in Canada. And tragically hip, obviously, but not live. And that's, that's my controversial thing. Tragically hip sucks live. Um, I gave them four chances and they sucked every single time. I thought for sure this is going to be the worst concert I've ever been to. And then I saw Meatloaf. $100 for a ticket to try and be a little bit nostalgic. I mean, I can sing every single word of Paradise by the Dashboard Light. So I thought for sure this is going to be the best concert ever. And I go and it's a nice family outing. The four of us, my family go and... I mean, my dad paid a hundred dollars per ticket for us to watch this old man uh, fumble his words and have a hard time breathing and slump around and be really perverted with his co-star, the girl or whatever. And the point is, is that's too much money for a ticket to begin with, but these people need to know when to quit. If I wanted to see that kind of show, I could have taken the hundred dollars went to the grocery store in my hometown, got $100 worth of groceries and saw that show for free. The old men having a hard time breathing, staring at women. Like, it, uh, I can't believe they charge money for it. And not only that, but um, my parents saw Willie Nelson a year or so ago and they said the same thing about him. So it might just be a matter of artists having a hard time stepping down. And you know what? I respect you for it. I respect that you want to keep doing your passion, whatever. But you're leaving a bad taste in our mouths. No pun intended for the meatloaf. But, um, yeah, my point is I respect you. I respect that you want to follow your passion. But some people just need to know when to quit, especially whenever you're charging $100 for a ticket. It's absurd. And... For people that are pissed off that I said that I don't like the Tragically Hit Live, please don't deport me to America because there's a lot of shit going on over there right now.